Now this is just a theory, but I think it's very important to note because if it's true, then it's better that we figure it out as quickly as possible. I saw Alex Jones on uh, Joe Rogan. It's an old clip of Alex Jones on Joe Rogan. He's talking about the concept of uh, God. And when he talks about the concept of God, he <clears throat> I'll put the link below showing this clip of him talking about it. When he, when he talks about this concept, what he's, what he's explaining is very similar to uh, my father Jay Arra's depiction. My, Jay, my father Jay Arra's understanding that he's written in a book of uh, what, what he calls the original first being. Um, uh, being that he destroyed uh, uh, in 2013. Um, uh, for the good of all. A being that he destroyed for the good of all. Um, and uh, what, and it's one of the greatest accomplishments, accomplishments uh, any being has ever done. So Alex Jones talks about this concept of God. I talk about how Alex Jones is a is a disinformation agent and a bloody good one as well. Um, um, and you wouldn't think so. And, that, and this, that's one of the things that makes him a bloody good one is because um, he's he's uh, he just seems mad. Yeah, you know, he just seems like a mad, silly idiot, just screaming, um, creating. Um, drama, you know, except he's actually very intelligent. He just talks a lot of shit. Um, and um, the people that know he's intelligent, they, they listen to the shit and they, and they lull, get lulled into it, into um, into some kind of I call it trance. Uh, and in this trance, um, they uh, don't discern reality as well as they usually do. Um, disinformation is usually 40% uh, uh, truth, 60% dis disinfo. No, 60%. 60% truth, 40% disinfo. That's enough to... Make a mess of anyone's understandings of what is happening in reality. So what I think is that my father had a lot of my father J. R. had trouble with the CIA, and he has he had and um, perhaps has enemies in the CIA. And if he has enemies in the CIA, I probably have enemies in the CIA as well. In fact, they're probably watching this right now, and you know. Um, if they're, if they're watching this, they, they probably understand I'm, I'm his spirit son. So, you know, you need to be careful. Um, so I think um, they might use Alex Jones. Or they might already be using Alex Jones. If they haven't already. Or maybe I've just given them the idea, see. But... I've got to put it up anyway. They might use Alex Jones to um, start. He's talking about energy and spirituality all of a sudden, um, which might be a beautiful, positive thing. And it might actually be uh, what has happened to him naturally. It might be a natural thing that he's gone through. But they can still use him as an agent anyway. Um, and they will probably do that because it's one hell of an opportunity. And they understand my father's, uh, they probably see my father's depiction of creation. I mean, some of them, one of them, um, may have. Um, and if they have, um, I believe Alex Jones has been working for the CIA for a long time. Um, sort of on and off. Um, so they can use him, and they may use him, and they may already have a plan to use him to um, talk about my father's depiction of my father, my father's understanding of the history of creation since 2.8 quadrillion years ago, uh, one of the most uh, definitive descriptions of history ever. No, the most definitive 
description of history ever. Now, um, now imagine Alex Jones with this information. Imagine Alex Jones with this information. Spreading. I guess if he has started doing something like that, I'd just pick him up anyway. And he'll just get destroyed. And then he'll become the Alex Jones that we like, or at least I like. There's an, I think there's an Alex Jones that I like. In there. I mean the real, I mean the real Bill Hicks. Real Alex Jones. <clears throat> uh.